Okay, as you can probably guess, we're going to talk about Fisher Space Pens, and I'm a big fan. I have another video that goes through all of these different models and then some, uh, so check that out on my channel. Just search uh, Fisher Space Pens and you can see that long video. Uh, but now today we're going to talk about a new pen, um, telescoping pen, a relatively new Fisher Space Pen model. It's been out for over a year, but there weren't any really good detailed videos on it um, that I could find on, on YouTube. And so I was going to go ahead and add one to the mix. Um, before I do that, I'm going to go through these pens that are here right now, which are some great space pens. This is the Millennium Pen. That focus in. This is one of the pens that is guaranteed for life. And so if it ever runs out of ink, they will replace it very good build quality a little bit pricey I think they're around a hundred dollars um, but if you do a lot of writing and you want something that'll last forever that's the pen and then um, also very good build quality the original Fisher Space Pen very solid feeling pen this is around thirty thirty five dollars somewhere in that price range but again, nice weight to it, very good build quality. This pen is lighter feeling. They still hold up, but it's just a lighter weight pen. Um, this is brass, believe it or not, with a clear lacquer, I believe, on it. And you just push it like that to have it come out. Same, except for this one's painted black. These are more affordable, around the $10 price range, thereabouts. And then the famous, some people call this bullet pen, but they do have another model that actually looks like a bullet. But this one, you just simply take it apart like this to use it. Okay, so now on to the star of the show, the telescoping pen. And all of these pens that I've shown you, at least most all of them come in a great presentation box. And you can see that once you pull it out of the cardboard slider, it has a nice release here. And then it has the moonscape here because these were, of course, used um, when they went to the moon. And we'll, so we'll, we'll take it out of that box and get on to the pen itself. And the way this, the way this pen works, is you simply pull this part out and it extends into a normal writing length and then you see the tip comes out. Now, you can telescope this in some. It's hard for me to show it here reaching around the camera. You can telescope it in and the, the ballpoint tip is still out. And then if I keep going, it finally clicks into the completely stowed position so it can't accidentally open on you. So if I can get this to focus in, there we go. Focus in a little closer. Some of the other videos I saw, you couldn't get a really detailed look at it. This isn't really a macro lens, but it is focusing in a little bit there. So I'm going to extend this back out again and let it focus in so you can see that tip. There we go. And I can tell you it's, it's, it doesn't feel quite as heavy as, of course, the Millennium Pen. It might feel about as solid as the original Fisher Space Pen I showed you earlier, but very close in, in build quality to that. And this is around, I want to say, $25 most on Amazon, for example most places where you get it at a decent price. Um, it's very handy for carrying in the pocket all the time. And if you don't want if you don't want to carry this one, this one's very comfortable in the pocket because it's all rounded all the way around when it's closed up. But some people don't want to take a cap off and have a cap to lose or something like that. That's the benefit of this pen here. 
where there is no cap. You simply slide this out and then all of a sudden it's a, a pen that you can then write with. So I think it's nice. It, it seems well made. This is aluminum, I believe. It feels good to hold in the hand. Get a piece of paper here to write on. Now one thing that people do talk about, see those little globs of ink, is sometimes you will get little globs of ink because Fisher Space Pens are under pressure. The ink that's inside of this is like a gooey ink that is under pressure and that's why these will write under any circumstances. And it, it, it's also the precision of which this is made is why it doesn't dry out. It can sit for very long periods of time, many, 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 many years, and never dry out on you. Um, so there are advantages and disadvantages to that. You do occasionally get those, those little globs of, of ink when you're writing. And some seem to be worse than others on that. So I don't know if that's a, a build quality or a, a fine tip versus medium tip or whatever, but um, do keep that in mind. I just like the advantage of knowing that the pen is always going to write. And so many times you go for a ballpoint pen and it's dried out or whatever. Um, that's the big advantage to me is the build quality, the fact that they hold up, and the fact that they always write. So anyway, that's a look at the telescoping pen, uh, Fisher Space Pen. They call it the telescoping pen. Hope you enjoyed this video and please share your comments on uh, Fisher Space Pens in the comment section.